Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here, and today, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do that while you want to take Jake? <laughs> ungrateful I'm, mother suckers! I'm, I'm sorry. Here bro. with me for this NBA 2K22 season four news. Hump for Glory seems to be the actual name of the season, like you know, Iced Out season three. Now we have Hump for Glory season four. Pretty dope concept, but today we got all the information, all the news, and we want to give you guys our opinion. So, Chase, Trey, please say hello, say hello to everyone. What it is, what it is. What's up, y'all? We're here to troll Carter for the most part, so just <coughs> don't just disregard us. Go ahead, brother. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Before we hop into the news, um, Chase and Trey, how do you guys like season three? <laughs> uh, those rewards. I those. Uh, I made it my mission to net to not hit forty at all. Them rewards, man. <laughs> well, hopefully the season four rewards will change your mind, and hopefully Chase, you will maybe hit level forty for the first time all season. Oh no, not all season. Since 2K then came out. I can guarantee you I won't hit level 40. I won't even try to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, Trey, um, how, how's the grind to level 40? How do you feel about the grind at level 40? Do you feel like it's something that you like doing, want to do, don't want to do? Like, well, give me give me your thoughts on that real quick. I'm going to be honest. It's honestly not the hardest, bro. It's it's, it's really not that bad. But uh, I do not like that they tried to make it harder while removing tokens um, from being from being stackable. But as, if we being honest, it's really not the hardest. A lot of people actually hit the top rep at the in the beginning of the season, bro, in the first two weeks of the season. Now you got people like me where things come up, and I, obviously I'm grinding late, but even then it really don't even be too hard to obtain. Say that, say that, say that. So um, season four starts off with a big shout out to Candace Parker and Dwayne Wade. It seems that season four is basically wrapped around them as well as something about the year of the tiger. It looks like 2K is trying to start the year off with something completely different, something revamped. And and in season four, it says that uh, they keep saying stuff about Eye of the Tiger and all of these different things, uh, you know, harness the Eye of the Tiger to unleash more courts and everything like that. And the first thing that I see is a brand new court layout. So, like, let's let's go ahead and hop into that because we already know Dwayne Wade, Candace Parker, they do their thing. They always got the Eye of the Tiger on the court, but I want to see what this court actually looks like. So, this right here is a close-up of South City Vipers' brand new court layout. Basically, 2K has been listening to everybody's gripes, Trey. You can speak to this about how clunky, how insane it was to actually navigate around the parks, how you used to just keep running into invisible things, elevation, mm -hmm. steps, all of that. Now, 2K has actually decided to make these parks more accessible to vehicles like skateboards go-karts inline skates you know my hoverboard <laughs> bikes trikes and things of that nature what do you feel about that trey i like it bro um yeah because you got all these vehicles in the game like why is it so hard to use these things bro like but like like let's say for example in south side we had we you can ride around on your uh your go-kart but it also had that little pit like Get that out of here, bro. So I'm, I'm, I'm loving that they're making it better. I'm hoping that they also fix the beast of the east because that everything was too far in there. Please rearrange it. But it also adds like to the um, it makes it more refreshing, bro. It, it, it makes the game feel somewhat new, man. Now, Chase, I know that you don't really like hitting the park like that. You know what I'm saying? But and I know that you don't have any vehicles. But how oh, do you okay. hey, why you tell them that? <laughs> you, got a, you got a random skateboard and a bike though, right? Like, are you telling me I had no vehicle, man? I mean, you ain't got you ain't got no no big boy toy. I sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, the new layout is is much better though. Definitely. On the on the on the serious side, um, and and, and and it looks like all of the tools courts are by the tools courts and the threes. Yeah, the threes. This, I mean, I, I I give them credit for that. Hopefully, like the shadows and stuff don't um yes block the courts with the new and, layout because that's been a problem before. And also, there's not a random wall that ruins my vision of the court. Yeah, 
well, like the from, trees and stuff like that. From what I see in this screenshot, it looks like the only thing that's really giving off too much shadow is maybe a few buildings and a lot of the palm trees. I don't really see too many tall skyscrapers near South City Vipers like it was in season one, two, and three. Because if you yeah. remember season one, two, and three, every time you went to South Side, it just it was dark. The yep. pit was dark. You know what I mean? The uh, the random courts were dark. The only I think it was like the only one random court when you first got into South City was the only place where like buildings didn't just topple over it as far as shadows. And Beast of the East, I believe, is the park that had maybe the most open space where you could see everything. But that that park was so huge. So I really want to see what the other cities look like in a redesign, because I know Beast of the East had it worse as far as getting from court to court. I know that Northside had a problem with, you know, the skateway and walls if you didn't get on the skateway. And um, I believe that the Wildcats just had a, a ton of steps. You know what I mean? But South City, that, mm -hmm. that pit, I don't know why they did that. Oh, the yeah, Wildcat, you just mentioned the steps. They don't have any steps The Wildcat there. has Ex had exactly. two bad... The Wildcats have had two bad courts, bro. <clears throat> last year and this year, bro. Stop putting steps in their courts, bro. So it says season four of NBA 2K22 is kicking off Friday, January 14th. Trey, I, I really hope that you hit level 40 before then. Um, achieving <clears throat> legend status is basically the possibility for everybody who has three stars already hit level 40 in all the other three seasons. And uh, it says taking your rightful place ahead of the pack, right? Now, basically, they have a bunch of different chances for everybody to earn XP, which they've had every single season. So they're saying things around the city, rooftop uh, games, I'm guessing. It says all four affiliation cores have been fully redesigned, like we just talked about. Um, they've reduced the clunkiness, you know, for more skateboards, bikes, and go-karts. But uh, they keep talking about throughout the city, you can find traces of the jungle cat and use them as motivation when you sink your claws into the ball and prepare <clears throat> to attack. They keep talking about <laughs> the eye of the tiger the the a tiger a tiger a tiger so you already know what's about to happen right yeah it's right here i know you guys probably read ahead in season four if you do achieve level 40 you will unlock a tiger this year so what i'm gonna say is what do you guys think they bring it back the um, tiger i'm gonna say i'm gonna say look W for listening to your community because a lot of people in the community have been wanting that back since 16. So big W's for actually listening to your community and bringing that back. Now, for me personally, I could honestly care less because what does that Tiger really do for me? But um, yeah, I, I, I'm a teacher, I really, I don't really care about a Tiger at all, dog. But what I can say is even though, even though I'm not affected by it, I know that a lot of people since 16 have been wanting that back and that's a W. Uh, how about you, Chase? We're going to lag because of the Tigers, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I like it. I like it. I mean, you know, I'm sure everybody would like, you know, more new rewards um, as opposed to maybe the recycled ones. But if they're going to bring back old rewards from the other games, this is one of the better ones. It's, it's better than some yeah. of the stuff they brought last year because those rewards they recycled from last year was was Dukes. Okay. Now, um, for me, you know, there's always different people on the spectrum, which is people who like Trey don't care about the Tiger. The people like me where it's like, hey, any reward that they have out there, I'm willing to go and get because I like grinding games and stuff like that and having dailies to do. And then there's people on the other side of the community where it's like, finally, about time. We've been waiting on that clout. Bang. We about to, It's about to be crazy. We about to go crazy. So, you know, there's there's just different tiers to, you know, what people care about. But it's more than just the tiger. So what they're saying is, um. They're going to be having more rewards like a new jump shot animation, I'm guessing. It says the artfully crafted Victor Solomon uh, Kintsugi ball. I don't know if you guys know, but um, it was a couple people on social media that got a package from Victor Solomon um, that had that uh, ball in it. And Ronnie 2K was doing a lot of promotion. Um, I remember, who was it? Who was it that I did see with one? I think it was Lethal Shooter had one. He was doing a giveaway or something like that for it. But I'm guessing you're going to have that ball to use to play on court or some type of design of that. Um, a, a Hunt for Glory Varsity jacket, uh, Art Camo go-kart. I've seen every go-kart in the game. So heart, hopefully it's not the camo one that I've already seen. Maybe hopefully it's something new. And um, it says a Hunt for Glory suit. So I'm guessing it's going to be like how season two suit was or season one suit was with all 
the like stamps on it with all the you know what I mean season four and and all of that from like the intro that I just ran. So that's something um, that you could look forward to as well. But uh, here we go the big uh, the big thing uh, the year of the tiger pet. So it says that's right by reaching level forty and my player will receive the year of the tiger pet as. Um, if your game wasn't intimidated enough, having a ferocious Zodiac companion would surely send a chill down the spine of every player you encounter. Now, one thing that I don't see. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. I don't see the legend rewards here. I was about to ask. <clears throat> now, what was the legend reward last year? I don't remember. Legend reward last year. Don't get me wrong. I never hit legend. Um, mm -hmm. I believe it was a you would come in on a helicopter. Am I right? Mm -hmm. And I believe that you got 40. Was it 40 badge points or 10, 10 badge points to every single badge category? Am I correct? So they so you got stuff that would help you in game. Is it going to be is, is it going to do that again? Or are you just going to give people because that pet is not coming on the court with you, is it? I I, I, I I pray that it doesn't, but I, I believe it's probably going <laughs> to interact the same way that it did in 16. But my thing is, um, I talked about this in a bunch of different videos and other people's videos, podcasts, 2K loves to surprise us right. and we as a community do not like to be surprised. You think all. so? I, I know so, bro. Nobody think about it. Everybody gets all their info from three places: YouTube, Twitter, Reddit. You know what I right? mean? And and it trickles down to Facebook, TikTok, all of that. But when you try to surprise us, all all we're gonna do is go try to find ways to get that information. Whether it's um, a Chinese news outlet that may be putting information out forty eight hours prior to it releasing in the U.S. or a day before in the U.K. or Netherlands or something like that, we're always gonna try to look for the info. We don't want to be surprised. Trey can tell you that as soon as the season starts, people are gonna my legend on PC, unlock all the rewards, and the information is gonna hit Reddit. I mean, yeah, it's like the, it's like it's uh, honestly, honestly, it's like that with any community, bro. There's always people that that dig into the um the files of the games and everything, trying to find everything. So, two K is no different from any other game. Yeah, people they want to know what the end result is, and they want to see not just want to know what it is, they want to see what it is early. So, yeah, please, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure somebody gonna try to get the uh end season rewards as soon as possible. Yeah, but it, it, see, the, the, people knowing what they're going to get dictates how they're going to spend their time. If you look on that and you see the rewards ain't there, you're not going to really spend too much time. But if they basically That's force you right. to play to give you some rewards that ain't worth it and it's a surprise, you're going to feel like you had your time wasted. So I think it's more about that. The people just not want to be surprised. I think people might feel blindsided by, you know, the rewards that they don't feel are good enough for their time. Right. That's and, and that's and that's the thing. Like, it's like. The reward that we are supposed to get when we get those four stars. This is going to dictate every person who has not hit level 40. Let's just say like Chase, where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, pretty cool bananas. I might want that. You know what I mean? And I might give my time to another four seasons that we have because I believe it's what a total of nine seasons for 2K. And you might Something say to like yourself that. like, mm, you know what? That reward is pretty cool. Um, I might, I might play it. You know what I mean? Especially for those people who like, for instance, if 2K23 happens to bomb or, you know, God forbid, you know what I mean? People always go back to the last uh, in in installment of the game to play that until they might fix a patch or they might, you know, drop something in there where, you know, to make it playable and stuff like that. So that's one thing where it's like, yo, if we see the level 40 uh reward for becoming a legend and you get all of these boosts all of this stuff and you're like yo all my builds is nice or oh, I, I get this intro or i get this item because if you're giving a people a tiger for one season at level 40 a reward that used to be you know what i mean on a tier list but go going to legend in a whole entire game what what else can you give them oh wait hold on i think i misunderstood the tiger is not a legend reward that's no. just a season reward? That's a season reward. That is a <laughs> season reward. It says okay. um it says the basically you get the uh Kintsugi ball, you get the Humphrey Glory suit, the gold card, the varsity jacket, all of that. Think about yeah. it. You know, the suit that was something that like season one and season two, you used to get the pants, the, 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 the jacket, the tie and all of that going through the levels. You used to, we got the gold card as a level 40 reward 
for the first season but i'm guessing they might release that at like the 30 reward since they did the skates and they did the glider for season uh what one and three so they're giving out level 40 boom you get a pet so i don't know what type of rewards they got in, in store for us because we when like when we when we try to you know wrap our brains around like okay tiger boom they got to be a legend reward but no it's it's stated here just by reaching level 40 you will receive the the tiger pet it's crazy mm. so i i don't know what that is oh, i hate being surprised bro i really hate being surprised man i really do like i i just i just want to know what we're going to get when we hit um legend so that i can say you know what i'm going to grind i'm going instead of putting six hours a day in i'm going <clears> 10 <throat> you know what i mean get that joint out the way and play my apex you know what i'm saying beat that battle pass behind you know and saying get up in the rank leagues and stuff like that and, and you know keep it pushing with my gaming days but um also they got they got updates to my team and stuff like that you know what i'm saying coach candace parker you know what i'm saying candace what's good you know what i'm saying so they also got uh galaxy opal demar DeRozan, and i think they got a galaxy opal yao as well so yeah that's that's crazy bro um it says for those who have completed unlimited showdowns tier in season three the extra 15k xp will allow you to earn galaxy opal yao ming on day one of season four so for all you grinders out there on my team and i i ain't gonna lie a lot of people been telling me that my team is a different animal this year you know what mm -hmm. i mean with like the the 3v3 the modes that they're bringing in everything it seemed like they throw in the god, god darn kitchen sink at my team to make it appealing to people and they, they got not? say that again why would they not <laughs> come go, go ahead and start emptying them pockets <laughs> yep yep yo, yo some grinders told me that they like they're able to grind for some of these cars too like you know what i'm saying like and plus think about it i'm pretty sure you are but also at the same time easier to bomb too yeah um one thing though they're there is cards and stuff like that like it's a whole different season within my team so like you can mm -hmm. hit level 40 twice on the game so i've seen like people say yo i'm grinding my team mainly because i know i can go and play like my park or whatever later like down the line but they want to hit level 40 on um, my team so that they know like okay i've grinded this much it's going to take this amount of money to get this card or this amount of games grinded plus they got the two hundred fifty thousand dollars two hundred fifty thousand dollar my team unlimited tournament you know what i'm saying so like that stuff all those qual qualifying games still going to be counted and stuff like that you know a lot of those uh pro-am and i'm sorry not just pro-am like wr leagues 2k league players like a lot of those guys play in those my team uh tournaments because they're going for that cash prize because that's how they earn their money throughout the year so that's gonna be something crazy too um oh by the way chase um they they, they updated something to the w online too what they do um it says that uh let me see. Okay. Um, prior to season four, you've been able to connect with legendary WNBA icons and take bits and pieces of their game. But this season, we're giving you the chance to work with two of the best basketball minds on the planet. There are four tiers of awards waiting to be claimed, and the Hall of Fame tier features coaches Becky Hammond and Don Staley, two masters of the craft. In addition, you can earn rewards such as takeover perk picker, 2K breakthrough gear, extra badge points, 4,000 VC seasonal clothing bundle and a pair of goggles uh the said, w, yeah four thousand vc huh for, yeah for 4k you said you said you'd be able to pick a uh, takeover perk huh yeah okay isn't that ba base basic rewards from the the i'm gonna leave it alone go ahead bro they i'm update, gonna leave they, it alone they, 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 they updating baby I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, but Warner Warner Music is taking over this season, so um, there's gonna be songs from like Freddie Gibbs. Uh, <laughs> ah, ah, we won't know. Yeah. I will never <laughs> know. I don't even Chava. know what songs are on there now. Yeah, um, right now I believe that they have. Whose season is it? It's not Columbia. I believe it's Dev Jam season this season. But um, here's the track list for all of those uh artists that's gonna be coming in, taking over the uh park. Uh, what do you call it? track list and 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 uh what do you call it uh what is that thing called that audio that mm -hmm. we always turn off so we don't gotta listen PA to volume. It. pa pa value PA yeah they're gonna be they're gonna be heavy on the pa volume but um yeah shout out to Dwayne wade and candace parker man for for coming through um did you guys get a get a look at the logo at all no not at all send it to me let me see that yeah let me let me go ahead and put that on screen for you guys let's see 
I heard they want a logo. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a little worried. I'm a little concerned for the legend grinders, man. Hopefully y'all get what y'all deserve, but there's going to be a lot more people hitting legend this time. Man. So I don't know if they're going to make the rewards as good as they were in previous years. Hopefully they do. Robin Styles. We already know we're going to Robin Styles. Um, style. What else? What's going to help them in the game? All right, so that's here, really the draw. Here goes the uh, the eye of the, uh, the eye of the tiger. I'm gonna dope. say, I'm gonna say it again. Um, the hunt for glory. This is the the logo right here. Like you can see, Wade and his chips, Parker and her chips. And I'm guessing this is what your tiger's gonna look like. So I'm guessing it's not gonna be a white mm. tiger this time around. Mm. The lag of the tiger. The lag. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> well, and is it gonna be like? Is it? Can you? change the tiger is it going to be like the skeleton situation where everybody has the exact same one you can't customize yeah. it so people just turn it off it's going to be like that mascot. this, is, bro, this is the thing though come on bro like, that's a that's a only people issue. customize mascots you already yeah. know it's going to be the same it's going it's going to be an issue like how how much is your tiger skin change going to cost you that's the you know what i mean I that's why, and this is why they should have had choice packs where you go in there you pick one Instead of just giving you one, but you know, I'm gonna leave it alone. And Dwayne Wade look, look like uh, DeAndre Jordan, right? Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is art. This is art pencil, like I understand. Give <laughs> <laughs> some goddamn artistic integrity, sir. Everyone. I'm calling it now. Though. I'm calling it now. Though. The 2K community will complain about the Tiger because there's going to be too many of them. They're going to be like, "Yo, uh, the reason why they were so fire in 16 is because they were exclusive and everybody didn't have them." Yeah. Um, that's true i mean they're they're still like think about it though like okay before before we get out of here with this video do y'all believe that the grind to legend shouldn't have been more simplified like y'all y'all think it should have been even harder no i don't uh i don't i'm a, i don't feel like i'm qualified i've never been a legend grinder or even close to it mm -hmm. so i don't think i could speak from a place of a person who's who's been in that arena so i don't i don't really know it is nice that more people can hit legend but for the people who really grind the game and they're really part of that what two thousand people i can understand why it, it just it's it's not exciting for them anymore because everybody has it like I, I understand both sides yeah i think um so many people complained about the style of 2k and how the reward system worked you know what i mean the last like four years of the game so now that it, they're trying to turn it into more of like a season, season pass type thing or, a, you know what I mean, battle pass, whatever you want to call it, yeah. like it not only does it make everything easier, but like they they let you know, like, yo, you have a chance to get this, you know what I mean? Like this one prize out of nine different seasons, whereas though, you know, in let's say Apex, my, my, my favorite game, um, you got one season to get everything in that one season and there's no like end all be all you know what i mean like it's not like if you finish a battle pass they give you shards to you know what i mean one of the goddamn weapons you feel me that you that you run around with like it's not like that you know what i'm saying so like you know for 2k to say okay you hit level 44 times out of nine seasons you get this one end all be all prize it is something different you know what i mean something to look forward to a little bit but it's definitely different i just don't like the, the surprise of it all you know what i mean i would i would love to know what i'm getting at the end of it you know what i mean in apex i know that they have heirlooms i know that you have to get a certain amount of packs and i know you have to pull those packs and get them shards to get whichever heirloom you want for your favorite character in mm -hmm. 2k i'm playing to level 40 for an end all be all prize that is a surprise because i'm just earning stars and it hurts a little bit but at the same time it is like hey you know what i mean you know, chase knows me i i like grinding games and now that i can't play soul hunters every day i i, I gotta do something so that's that's just me though yeah yeah mm -hmm. But I appreciate you guys for, you know what I mean, being here with me on this video. You know, I, I don't want to cry or anything. You know? <laughs> I wanted to get on here and talk crazy, but I didn't. I mean, I, I, I seen you wanted to. I seen you wanted to. But I mean, uh, one 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 thing I have to have to ask you guys with all of the updates, changes and badge. Uh, how should I say nerfs? Um, Moon, like everything that they've done, do you think that 2K is moving in the right direction for the mm -hmm. community? Or nope. do you think that they're just like listening to a, a small few people and then just giving it to everybody and saying, here, here you go? 
Are you? Um. Uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm actually going to let you go first. I'm actually going to let you answer. I, I, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to answer really the first part of your question more than the second part. I don't know who they're listening to, but I think part of uh, what's bothering people is 2K did a lot of changes and stuff, but the game has two times in a row created a meta where it's either you play that way or you lose the game. Um, you don't really have a lot of time or... Um, chance to play and just enjoy your style of play and, and see different styles of play for the most part it's really pretty much like two things and you just kind of see that game in and game out and people who don't want to play that way won't be able to enjoy the game as much it's just it really came down to like are we really stuck within um a meta and people will say it's like that on every game yeah it is but it's uh, to uh, on this game and last year um next gen it, it was it's really bad though especially last year um, and that's pretty much what happens with all those patches. So it's either you play that way or you give yourself a hard time playing. A lot of people don't want to have a, a hard time playing, so they'll just go ahead and, and join the meta. I don't like the meta at all. Yeah, um, for me, bro, honestly, bro, with the updates, bro, I'm not really liking the, the direction that they're going because they are patching things that don't need to be touched, messing with things that don't need to be touched and not addressing some things that are, that are it's, it's like almost historically bad when it comes down to 2K, bro. The paint defense this year is almost some yes, of the worst sir. that it's ever been. It's almost some of the worst that it's ever been. Why touch shooting in the beginning? Because shooting in the beginning of this game was 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 fire. Shooting in the beginning of this game was absolutely fire, bro. Like, so why are why are you touching that? And then you don't fix paint defense. I understand why they touch steals. Steals were outrageous. I cannot lie. But it's but also it felt like steals have been nerfed and then buffed again. But then like like so you touching those multiple times, but the entire year, I don't feel like y'all have fixed this paint defense. Everybody's complaining about it, bro. It's horrible. If I put my hands up, they, it's smaller guards or anybody they shooting over me. If I don't jump, like, I, I don't get no contest. If I jump, like I'm, I'm getting punished for jumping. It's bad. Now, I have a question. Um, do y'all think that paint de defense is the last big, huge thing left that 2K needs to address? Mm -mm, nope. What else would nah. you guys say? Uh, I mean, a lot of the times there's uh, when you know you're wide open under the hoop. The fast twitch does not trigger most of the time. Oh my god, bad animation! Um, and and you, you, the animation, your guy just takes the whole NBA season to shoot the ball. You get blocked yes. or you get contested. People lose a lot of uh, games. I'm sure people have lost stage games behind that. Um, so there's that, and and oh, you know uh, another one. Um, yo, remove. Remove um, unlisted dunk animations from dunk packages. Remove those, bro. Nobody <laughs> in the community wants to do snatchbacks. We all purposely take them off. We all purposely take them yeah. off. But for some reason, on a fast break, my build decides to do a back scratcher when we don't want to do back scratchers, bro. Take them out. I mean, these are the facts. There, there's 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 some stuff that they could definitely fix. That's one of them. Um, uh, you know, and, and they sniper. Oh, bad, I, I don't think know. sniper ever needed to be in the game anyway. Yeah. Everybody has so many other badges that assist you in shooting. You don't need something that's going to then reward you with your ninety nine three. That if you miss time it, that they're going to age you again. Now there's people that's been doing tests and saying sniper is not really that great. That's fine, but. Um, I, I just I don't think the game needed that. There's there's like there's a few things the game doesn't need, um, gameplay wise. And also, you know, I, I don't want to say it, but like I know they they nerf the the pluck steals maybe so it was almost worthless. And you have to set yourself up for bump steals mostly. Mm -hmm. Now outside of that, um, you go in a wreck, bro. Just seeing people just stand in the like the corner and just spam square in the pass lanes is. Uh, that's kind of the only option, but 2K needs a, they need to rework the stale system on the passing and plucking side, but uh, I'm going to just leave it leave it like that. Um, so yeah. generally, it's defense that needs the most touching. Yeah, and I'm not saying nerf or buff. I'm saying some stuff needs rework. I don't think it, it's, it's in the best interest of the game for mm -hmm. people to have to try to get past lane stills because, because they have a 99 right. steal and they can't get a pluck on a big. Right, yo, yo, you can't pluck a big at all now. Yeah, you know, like, like you used to be able to. Yo, that first, that first like two weeks of the game, that that was bro. That was rough though. 
<laughs> that was rough. It like they, t- 2K sometimes has a it's like a scale, and it's either you on one end or the other. Like sometimes they patches and gameplay changes from the uh, the, the year releases are like from one side to the other. For example, in 21 current gen before PS5 came out, the paint defense was it was ridiculously good, mm-hmm. and then this year, the like, hands up is worthless, and little guys can just run up on you like you nothing. Yeah, I, I think I got dunked on three times by a five nine build. Like, what? Yeah, man, it was it's pretty bad, man. Yeah. All my badges popped up. <laughs> ain't not, ain't none of them helped me. <laughs> I got dunked on each time, <laughs> but uh, that's cool. But uh, YouTube appreciate you guys for coming through, listening to us uh talk about two K twenty two and season four information, as well as some of the grabs that we have with the game, and hopefully some of these things will get addressed. But um, make sure you guys hit the like button. Um, no goal. Just make sure you guys do that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And check out the links in the descriptions to the homies channel so that you guys can go ahead and subscribe to them. Uh, you already know what Trey does. You already know what Chase does if you're, uh, you know, a regular. But if you're new, go over and check those guys out, man. But uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. 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 You better be our pot, you better be shake. Don't be too easy and brute or get baked. Right after the loss, your team got away. You can't step foot in my park. You better be our pot, you better be shake. Don't be too easy and brute or get baked. Right after the loss, your team. Got away.